Polkadot is about to go to the moon and what should you do about it? Hey guys, it's Chris Tan, your Bitcoin buddy. And on this video, we're going to talk about everything Polkadot and why it's going to the moon and what should you do moving forward. It's a given that the whole crypto market is in a bull market right now and everything is going up with Bitcoin, Ethereum going up. It's driving the whole market up and Polkadot is going to go along for that ride. But what people don't see is everything happening in the Polkadot ecosystem that is a catalyst for the price growth in the coming months and why you should be putting your money in Polkadot right now. I'm talking about the Polkadot parachain auctions. And if you're watching this video and the auctions are still ongoing, then you're in luck. And this is a chance for you to earn some juicy rewards off of your Polkadots. So what is a Polkadot parachain auction and why is it going to drive the price of Polkadot up? Parachain auctions are auctions held on the Polkadot network to be able to allow dApps to bid for these slots on their parachain. Now for an app to be able to get a slot in Polkadot's parachain network, they have to crowdsource for funding to be able to lease the slot on the Polkadot network. And to do that, they have to get dots from various dot holders. This process is called crowd loans and crowd loans is crowds like us, all of the dot holders being able to lend and lock in our tokens with the different apps that we support. So if there's an app that you think is going to be good for the ecosystem, then you stake your dots and lock it in to that app. When that happens, your dots are going to be locked in for 96 weeks and in return, you're going to be getting rewards in the native token of the apps that you're supporting. So what we can do is look at what happened in the Kusama network to be able to determine what could possibly happen on the Polkadot network. So based on the Kusama network's parachain auction, we were able to see that there were apps that gave great rewards. One of them was called Moon River, where if you staked one Kusama, that was valued at that time at about $300, you would get Moon River tokens. That's now a total value of $4,000. That is just insane. Now, for the Polkadot Network's version of Moon River, which is Moonbeam, we don't know if it's going to be the same because they actually cut down the rewards by a third. And But let's see. So based on what happened to the Kusama network, you can kind of get an idea of what to expect in the Polkadot network, but anything can change. So, but that was just an amazing example of what kind of returns you can get on the Polkadot network. I actually tried the Kusama parachain auction and I staked one Kusama and I locked in my Kusama with a project called Karura. And that time the Kusama was worth about $350 and I got as of today, a hundred dollars worth of Karura which is just under 30% of all my Kusamas. And that's just today. So that's a pretty good return for something I just placed over a couple of months ago. And because of that experience, I'm very excited to be able to lock in my dots now to be able to get rewards from the other apps that I missed out on on the Kusama network. So why am I talking about the parachain auctions? Because the parachain auctions are gonna lock in about 10 to 20% of all the dots that are out there right now. If we were to base it on the Kusama parachain auctions, they were able to lock in 27% of all Kusamas, which is why the price of Kusama right now is moving up very quickly. Now in the case of Polkadot, at the price of about $50 right now, when all those dots get locked in, it's gonna cause a supply shock. That's gonna drive the price of Polkadot all the way to the moon. So what should you do? You're probably looking at the price of Polkadot right now at around $50, thinking it's still expensive. It's actually fairly cheap because of the parachain auctions and the supply shock it's going to cause, the price is definitely going to go up. And after the auctions are done, a lot of these apps that get a slot are going to go live, meaning there's going to be a lot of money that's going to be flowing into the ecosystem. And when that happens, the value of all these different apps are going to start going up. Well, what I'm doing or what I did is I actually bought more polka dots at the current price and I was able to lock in my dots with the different projects that I believe in that I think I'm going to get a good reward for leaving my dots for 96 weeks. And I'm very comfortable locking in my dots because I believe that the Polkadot network is a valuable network that's undervalued right now at about $50. And by the time that the 96 weeks lock-in period is done, Polkadot will probably be worth in the hundreds of dollars already at that time. 
So if you see the value in Polkadot and understand how valuable this network is and how undervalued it is right now and all the apps that are gonna be on it, then you should be getting some dots right now if you don't have any yet. And if you do, definitely stake it on the parachain auctions and pick the projects that you have a lot of confidence in because if you do, then you'll get rewarded with their tokens that's gonna be appreciating in value. And the good thing is if the project doesn't get a slot, you'll get your polka dots back and that's why there's no risk in doing these auctions. So you're now probably thinking, where do I put my Polkadots and which apps should I support? Well, there are a lot of great apps on the Polkadot network. The ones I'm supporting right now are Moonbeam, Akala Network, and Astar. But there are a lot of other great projects out there like Parallel Finance, and there's Clover Finance, and Litany and Manta Network, and so many other more. So you guys, if you can spread it out, go for it. And by the way, before I end the video, I have to remind everyone, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not giving financial advice. All I'm letting you guys know is giving you the information of what I know about what's happening in the Polkadot network and what I'm doing. And please make sure to do your research and invest at your own risk. But for me, I see very little risk in investing with Polkadot and its parachain auctions. I hope you guys learned something from this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and click on the notification bell so you're notified of my latest videos. Thanks so much everyone, this is Chris Tan, your Bitcoin buddy and I'll see you on the next video.